Hey child and welcome back to my channel. Hello there darling. So this video is actually a follow up to a video I did about a month ago. And by the title you know where this is going. Hi my name is Faye and I am unashamed to tell you I am one of the biggest fans ever of Tabitha Brown. She is just like that vessel right there. She is life. Okay. I love her in my mind. She's my auntie. I call her TT. I know everybody love her, but in my mind, I'm her favorite niece. She came out with some hair products and because I have a channel that I, I talk about a lot of things, but I mainly talk about hair products and I wanted to show her some love. I love talking about black women on businesses and you know, bada boom, bada bang, put it all together. Of course I was going to buy it. So I made a video dedicated to her products and honey, a few things caught me by surprise. Number one, I had no idea that that many people were gonna watch that video. Like, <laughs> where did y'all come from? Number two, she saw the video and she sent me a message. And number three, most important, no, cause her comment to me was the most important thing. I mean, I love y'all, but I love her more. But anyway, number three, I got some constructive feedback and that is why I'm coming with this video. So in that video, I used the shampoo, the conditioner and the leave-in, but I did not use a styling product because she came out with a cream. And for my hair type, I tend to like either a mousse or a gel because it's easier for me to do my hair with that. But I got some feedback in the comment section saying we really would have liked to see a cohesive review, including the styling product. And so with that in mind, bang, we got that hair crack. So I'm going to do my whole head again using nothing but Donna's recipes hair products. I have the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in, and now officially the hair cream. And so y'all are going to see me do this whole thing together. So all right, let me go ahead and rip this out there. I didn't been talking enough. Now not me taking my wig off on YouTube. My mama gonna be so embarrassed. All right, let's go. Let's start with the extra creamy moisturizing shampoo. Um, this is from the Sweet Potato Pie. Yeah, Sweet Potato Pie Collection. Um, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the first three products simply because I got a whole video up on my channel that goes into depth about oh this feel good mm. but anyway i got a this smell real good i cut look i have not used this since the first time i did the video and so now i'm like circling back I'm like wait a minute child it smell good but anyway speaking of the first video i'll leave it up in the car somewhere i really liked it but if i could change anything i would remove the protein from it it does have hydrolyzed wheat protein and sometimes on my hair I find that it makes my hair feel a little firm and I don't really like that from a moisturizing collection I prefer that from a strengthening collection but overall I did like that this smells incredible what in the world like I don't know if it caught my attention like that last time or if like my nose is just like extra wide and open but I'm telling you this stuff smells good as we are back and my opinion pretty much stays the same i actually found this to be an enjoyable shampoo it's just personal preference that i would prefer it didn't have protein in it but other than that the shampoo cleaned my hair it didn't make my hair feel incredibly dry i don't feel like my hair is just like tumbleweeds and stuff like that yeah i like the shampoo next it is time to condition now this isn't a deep treatment or anything like that it's just a regular rinse out conditioner so we just gonna do just that rinse it out Woo! And sorry if it seems like I'm moving kind of fast because again, I do have a video dedicated to this on my channel already today. Oh, this smells so good. Child, what is going on with my nose? It's just like, I noticed the fragrance last time, but it's just like, it's extra noticeable to me today. So the conditioner is now applied. Not only does it smell amazing, like I cannot say enough about how much I love the fragrance of this line, but my hair does feel soft. So I am looking forward to seeing what it feels like once I rinse it out. Now, how long am I gonna wait before I rinse it out? I, I, I don't know, cause they ain't tell us in no directions now, Donna. And I'm gonna tell you, when it comes to the natural hair community, you kinda gotta lay out some guidelines, cause we been slapping these hair products all night, just wake up and the head be all moldy and sour. But I'm gonna do what is usually standard when it comes to a rinse out conditioner Which is leave it in for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out Usually I would get a cap but number one I'm out of caps y'all I'm sorry Samantha and ran away from home y'all And number two with this being a rinse out conditioner I don't really feel the need to put on a cap and let my cuticles open and all the other stuff We're just gonna let this sit and rinse it out So I'll be back here in 5, 4, 3, 2 As we are back I just rinsed out the conditioner My opinion stays the same i do find that my hair is moisturized my hair is incredibly soft to the touch um it got a little bit of the firmness that i feel when i use protein products but overall i do still like the conditioner 100 will use it again so i am going to get into um the leave-in real quick hold on let me detangle real quick chat all right last step before the styler is of course 
the leave-in conditioner now when i use this this was my favorite product um if you're unfamiliar i have a particular method that i always do i didn't invent it a lot of naturals been doing it for years i just do it a lot and that is i apply a leave-in conditioner all over and then before i go into styling i let it sit with a cap on it for about 15 no not even 15 minutes really about five to ten minutes and i just find that even even if the leave-in is terrible, child, not saying this is, don't get me wrong. This is actually a good leave-in. But even if it is a terrible leave-in, if you put the cap on for about five to ten minutes, it takes it up another level. So that is what I'm going to do is apply this all over. And I'm going to put a grocery bag because I don't have no caps in my bag. Listen, I don't care how much the good Lord bless me. I ain't never too blessed that I can't put a grocery bag on top of my hair. Amen. All right, I'm going to finish applying this leave-in. I'm going to put a bag on top of my head. Let that sit for five minutes. And then we're going to get into today's star of the show, which is the cream styler be right back all right we done went through the whole wash day gave you a summary honey let's get into what is new to me and that is the sweet potato pie extra creamy hair cream now if you are ingredient conscious it does say no parabens it's color safe it's free of sulfates and looking at the ingredients i don't see any silicones but i'm not a stylist so double check for yourself um and just like the other products this does have hydrolyzed wheat protein in it so i do want to notate that um and then also just for me personally i'm going to make sure i use a small amount at a time because it does have pvp in it and some Sometimes products with PVP in it, if I apply it too heavily, it leads to flaking, even if it is a cream. So I want to make sure I'm very careful in the amount that I use. So their intent with this is to be nourishing to the hair and scalp. It lists all the vitamins that's associated with sweet potatoes, and then it highlights cinnamon and vanilla. So that's all really a good smell, child. This collection like seriously they knocked it out the park with the smell honey it smelled good and for the instructions it just says apply a small amount to damp or dry hair and style as desired for my hair type listen to me for my hair type and for my preference and styling when it comes to a cream styler that means either twist out braid out something like that but it ain't gonna be no washing going today amen when it comes to the consistency it is a very nice whipped creamy texture it's actually got a little bit of thickness like the top layer was a little loose and runny like it got hot in the store but as i get down into it i'm like oh this is kind of dense same great smell um even on my skin it feels super moisturizing so i'm loving that so ain't nothing to it but to do it let's get into this hairstyling so when it comes to my twist styles i don't care nothing about definition making sure it's all extra cute child just let me walk out the house and not look like frederick douglas hey man that's all i care about i don't want to look like good old free so starting with this amount of cream i'm just gonna take that and just work it through this entire section it feels yeah so for my hair i'm going to do a little bit of a flat twist out in different layers so i'm just take this and i'm just gonna do my flat twisting all the way down um going on my hair i feel a slip on my hands from this product which is making it easy to style like it's, it's super easy to glide through the hair um that whipped consistency yeah smells really 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 good um i can't say that enough i am just i don't know when i became a fragrance snob but i am one now in this yeah all right so now that i got it twisted all the way down to the bottom i'm just going to twirl it around my finger and let it go so i'm gonna do another twist with y'all um this feels really good i really can't say too much else about it um i won't see the results of my hair until it's all the way dry so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just showing y'all me applying this, right? And I'm going to flat twist it all the way down. I'm going to spare y'all the um, repetition of it. Let me go ahead and apply this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my twists are applied. Let me tell you something. There is a texture to this cream of bounciness that I cannot explain that makes twisting your hair so easy i can't wait to see what my hair feels like once it dries um but originally i thought the leave-in from the line was my favorite product right now i'm definitely leaning towards this she, she put a little something extra in this and so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to get under the hair dryer just to knock some of this excess moisture out of my hair so that i don't have to go to sleep with a wet head like it could be a little damp as far as the hair goes but i don't want to be soaking when you be growing bacteria and turn my scalp into a petri dish so i'm going to get under the dryer maybe for about an hour possibly two i don't know but i want to make sure a lot of the moisture is gone so i don't have to go to sleep with a soaking wet head and i'm going to go to bed 
Put my body on all that good jazz. I'm going to see y'all in the morning once it's dry. And we're going to do the take it down together and see what it's like. But so far, this is literally... Let me stop. I don't want to be too soon. All right, let, I got to go. And with that, honey, it has actually been two days since I put these twists in. Mother came down with a cold, so mother had to sit her tail down. But mother's about to undo these twists and see what this hair is giving. Okay, so... All right, all right. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just going to... Take the twist apart, right? So this is what my hair is looking like with absolutely no manipulation. Not only does it feel soft, but at the same time, I can tell the I was gonna call it a jill chair. I can tell the cream has a little bit of hold to it, which is something that I like. We'll talk more about what I like at the end, but anyway, um, so far, so absolutely good. So here's what, ooh, do you have Child, I'm playing with a tab. For all of my twists, I just unravel them and then I take my finger and kind of go down and wherever it naturally wants to separate, that's where I do a little bit of a pull. So just kind of like running my finger down and then, okay, so here's a, a real good one, right? So I'm just going to run my finger down and then where it naturally separates, that's where I pull it. So. Run the finger down and let it naturally separate. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm the type, I prefer volume over definition. So I'm going to get a little bit of frizz, but I don't care because big hair don't care. So to save us all some time, I'm going to go ahead and separate all my twists off camera and come back and show you the final results. But I'm telling you right now, yeah, and my hair. My hair, <laughs> my hair. Real quick, let me talk about the collection as a whole and then we're gonna get into the store of the show. So, uh, first things first. The first time around when I used this, I was coming out of heat styling my hair. It had a lot of heat, a lot of uh, product build up, all that other good stuff. Um, and so, this time around, of course, my hair was already in a hydrated state when I used it. I can definitely say the products did not have to work as hard, so they performed a lot better this time around. It's not that I didn't like it last time, but it just, it was even better this time around. So, I actually really like the collection as a whole even more, even with the protein in it. I actually liked it a lot more this time around. But let's get into the start of the show. Honey, this right here, honey, she put her whole foot, her butt, her everything in this. This is fire. The reason I didn't buy this the first time around, and this is just me being honest, a lot of times when it comes to cream hair stylers, it's really the same thing as a leave-in conditioner. It's just a bunch of moisturizers put together, but it doesn't have any hold to it. So when I use it, yeah, my hair is soft, but it doesn't have hold, so my hair doesn't last. That's why I didn't want to purchase this. Oh, but baby, she proved me wrong. This right here, I don't know what she put in it, but it has some hold to it. Not like a gel, look like, let's be real, it ain't a gel or a cuss. But when it comes to a cream styler, this is actually a styler. Like, she did a really good job with this. Out of all of the products in the collection, this is my absolute favorite. So, to those who pulled my coattail, was like, us, oh, you, you need to give us the whole thing. Y'all was right. Uh, this is fire. So, while I like the shampoo, I like the conditioner, I like the leave-in, I think they're all enjoyable. This right here... I am in love with it's not too many things around like when I use it for the first time I say it is a staple product but this a staple so shout out to TC tab she did her thing like she did a big one with this cream styler if you are interested in knowing my thoughts now you know the whole collection is nice but that cream styler it is everything like seriously that cream styler is a great competitor to every other cream styler on the market that is fire so shout out to tabitha brown you know we love her around these parts thank y'all for watching if y'all have any questions leave them down below i love y'all maki dada and i'm out this piece bye child let me go drink some lemon tea so i can get this whole frog out my throat bye y'all